Good evening. My name is TF2 Public Ferret in my TF2 Public Ferret server prime playing PL Frontier. I didn't even go to limits there. That, was, that wasn't even my final form. Uh, I can keep that up for a long time. That O for some reason is just like my highest efficiency sound I can ever make. I mean, I don't know what my sex sound is ever going to be like, but god damn, if I put it to that, I'm going to last... That is going to be the, the, I don't know, the new loud nigre sound of all time. Now, in any case, let's see where this is going. Now, today we are playing PL Frontier. We have Minardi. Teams looking relatively equal. Uh, a lot of new guys in today. If I haven't scared them off already, uh, ho thank you for staying around. And you've already had the plug. Unless we get somebody super brand new turn up in who wants another, who wants to know what's going on. Oh, we're doing it again for a while. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? How many times have people said, "No, oh, you don't need to scramble the teams. They're fine as they are." And then it's like, "I don't scramble teams. Fair. The teams aren't teams aren't equal. Please scramble." Yeah, okay, there's a few M MJC guys in one team, but, you know, I don't really see. Oh, classes. Uh oh, 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 Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on? I'm sorry, that's not a skill thing, that's just being stupid as, stupid as fuck. That's, that's, I can't scramble the teams because blatant stupidity. If you are going to use snipers, please, can we have like... Are we going to have like, see like TF2 Total War with basically like tons and tons of snipers with huntsmen arranged in like square formations firing at once? Where basically people are going to loose and then tons and tons of arrows are going to go firing <laughs> at the enemy. But if you are going to have snipers, uh, yes. Please be using Huntsman, and secondly, lots of urine. And maybe you might want Crits Creek Medic for that one guy using the Mashiner. Because you really need a Mashiner shot. I mean, there's probably a few guys that are here with, like, you know, um, on comms somewhere. They can easily, you know, coordinate. Saying that, though, Bobbit is still scoring the best guy. He's still scoring very well. Now, what is going on around here? Let's have a look. Hubert of Gabonia is um. What is that picture of? Anna of the as a about the adventures of, of Baron Munchausen. No, I don't think it is. Now, in any case, can't it nearly on over first point. I think it's maybe due to the fact that one team is playing the game properly and the other one is. Indulging in a Call of Duty fantasy. Mass uh, going in with a ham. Nearly killing something. You know what? Sometimes people want to, people want to see. What I call for spy. You know, uh, s uh, what's it? Uh, scout rushes. Nothing happens. Sniper rush on the other hand. Fuck it. Let's go, mate. Let's go, mate. You know what this team needs? Five more snipers. Good day. Now, in any case, the joke is over. Stop. Now, 8 minutes 18, and the car is being pushed relatively very well here. Not looking good. However, though, we are seeing a fair few stabs and headshots coming in now. Um, maybe the uh, spies will help out with the snipers. So where one team is looking very much in the distance for any sort of indistinct firing target, they will hopefully not notice something shot you in the ass. Nice stab there from... No! <laughs> Two, 10 out of 10 there. Unfortunately, I'm afraid... Uh, yeah, I'm afraid Dead Ring isn't going to save you from a cliff. Oh. 
Now, is Red Team holding? If Red Team can actually win this with their current amount of snipers, it's going to be embarrassing for Blue. Very embarrassing. Unlucky there, Benny Boy. Varley's all over that. And the cart is rolling back. Uh, we are seeing a reversal for the first time. And somehow Red Team is actually... Has actually more points. Maybe having more snipers is the trick here. Unlucky that don't kill me. Uh, kind of prop up against the wall. Maybe that's what Red Team needs. Even more snipers. Oh, hello, what's this? Craft text moving in. And immediately clobbered. Um, unlucky there. Blocks your path. Getting in the way. Doing as he has. I think that's JJ actually. I've seen him do a few good things here. Why did you say it? Sorry, I, I'm a commentator. Like, I can't just say random people's names like Dark Demon TJ. And then, you know, something not bad happened to them. It's one of those things. Also, there's no rolling the dice here. There is no voting allowed. This is a communist totalitarian server. You, There is no voting here for you. This server is true vanilla. And also, there is no changing on the map. And uh, crits are enabled. And right now, Tanked Up and Faster are using the most horrid of combos of using a Flodge and Medic combo. They seem to be doing very, very well recently. Oh dear god, look at Tanked Up! Look at the kills! Jesus Christ! Don't Kill Me dies from falling damage. Nice shot from, uh, that Varley dies there. I don't know, that was a... I think... But Red Team is winning, and they still have six snipers, seven snipers even. How could, how could this happen? And Mass kills N with a ham. Them sniper and their assassina super assassination skills. I'm surprised we haven't seen a ta taunt kill yet with the amount of snipers that are going around here. I'm surprised we haven't seen blue team use more... S well, we've seen spies going around. What about scouts with bonk? Just run up to the snipers and panic the fuck out of them. Now, blue team seems to be defending at the moment, which is not good considering they're supposed to be attacking. There's Dark Demon. Let's hope he doesn't die. Um, what happened to Dark Demon? Did you f did did you have a caber and then you use it against a wall? You did, didn't you? You fucking used a caber against the wall and killed yourself. For fuck's sake, Dark Demon! You you panicked me. Maybe, you know, red, blue team needs to be using more uh, demo knights. That, that'll, that you know, get... Maybe you can close distance with snipers and do it that way. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba -ba -bum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Five, four, three, two, one. And Vali's in three. Who are you, Vali? Are you regular or are you just brand new? Or are you a smurf account of somebody we already know? I'm kind of new. Now there's overcharge there, he's being a heavy. Yeah, I know, I saw you, I saw you Friday. Now, we're seeing overcharge being a heavy in a sniper map. This is clearly a bad idea, but he insists on doing it anyway. It's cool, man, don't worry about Monday. He 
lovely stabbings there from 10 out of 10. Uh, red teams, uh, this is ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six snipers still. They still have six snipers. They now have seven snipers and are still winning this game. How can this happen? Like, am I missing something? Blue team maybe need to use more medics. I don't know. And close in on the enemy. I'm sensing somebody using one of the best weapons and there's the Eureka effect. Demon, you are a absolute angel. I love it using the Eureka effect. It's a fantastic wrench and it's off it's so horribly underrated in my opinion. Right now though, it just does not look good. Uh, blue team has four spies. Uh, perhaps five. And they are trying to break in, they are just failing. They're not using medics, they're, 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 they need medics, not spies. You need to break through the enemy defense. Oh, there goes Overcharger, unlucky there. Get sniped. Heavy power go from Dark Demon there. Nice work from 124 there. It's also faster as well. <laughs> faster there getting caught. Didn't expect a second scout. A lovely shot from Mass there. He didn't decide to do a saxophone solo just to celebrate. But blue team, are they trying to push this out? It'd be very tricky if they can. I mean, the thing is, Demon Sentry. The other thing, actually, to be fair, they've got one damn good engineer, Demon, actually topping the team. Because blue team keeping alive. Oh, five. Four, three, two, one, and Tanks from Vardy have four, so new record, but both equal. And oh, geez, there we go. Okay, game one, round two, and okay, blue team are gonna try the same thing again, but this time with six snipers on the attack. God damn it, Captain Fluffy. Shut the hell up. Seriously, I keep seeing... <laughs> right, if you, if you want less people talking, try just shutting down Dino Dion and... Uh, what's it? Captain Fluffy. Seems to be the guys keep totally yammering on right now. You keep talking! I was thirty because I want 32 man. I like a good clusterfuck. <laughs> Easy kill streak. I don't play. I haven't played TF2 for a long time, to be fair. Um. Yeah, that's because I'm playing other games, to be fair. And as I said, I'm possibly packing this up soon. You know, it's not going to last forever. And there's always the other mission where if you don't like the current game you're in, you can always go somewhere else. But for some reason, you guys love sticking around. A lot. Now, in any case, this blue team are pushing up cut very nicely here. This uh, uh, six sniper tactic seems to be working very well. Well, actually, it's now one, two, three, four, five sniper tactic. Now... Oh dear god, uh, Craft Tech there, running up the fuck away. You snipers to win. Oh dear. And Faster's on four, but that's still not the record yet. We need a five. 
Now, Blue Team's moving up very fast already, and Captain Fluffy's got a couple of doms under his belt now. This is looking like anyway, it could be anybody's race, and also horribly one-sided as Blue's medal cabinet is massive at the moment, with Snares being the only guy seeming with a dom. This is not looking good. Dark Demon died <laughs> from <laughs> being burnt alive. Jeez, right now though. Four minutes on the clock. Snezflint's got a sentry up. But and there goes uh who was that? As Captain Fluffy there. Loses a uh, medic. But he does the biz biz over there and Mass taunts his way over the point. Rom could also be the highest ranked member of blue team to not have a Dom. Shameful display. Now for the moment, is Red Team going to put a viable defence? No one's entirely sure. Okay, so what is the plan here? Now that Red Team have managed to make a much more solid defence here, but it will get a bit trickier. Now I'm liking Cozzy there, staying alive, trying to back back cap. But unfortunately, he's on nine. He will he make it to med kit? No, he won't. Died horribly. Rooty's moving in and around now. Anzix 96 there. Nice work. That's a nice sentry there. Thing is though, people aren't taking care of Anzix. Uh, I don't. Uh, they, uh, he, he, nobody's really around him right now. Unlucky, they're Hansix. So I gets meekly Crockett to face. And Blue Team are rampaging all over everything. And double double crit kill from Cozzy there, nicely done. But can Red Team pull? Oh no, they're tanked up and fast though, doing the uh, flodge dance. Dark Demon, don't run in front of the cart like a dummy. Don't, Dark Demon! What the fuck? I told you not to do that! <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Tanked up on fire. <laughs> you was! You were dancing on the front of the cart way too hard. You, that was, you can't be that close to the cart. <laughs> I was running around it. <laughs> Oh dear, that was terrible. And it's like blue team, it's cart pushed in. Oh no, I think we lost Dark Demon. Out, five, four, three, two, one, and tank taps on six. Okay, now let's see what. Okay, this card is moving very nicely here. Dirty D done, done sheep. Anzic Sentry once more, the center defense round here. Um, why is nobody helping Anzix out? Nice work from Mass there, takes, out, takes it down. Now, is Red Team going to get organized here? And we have Fruit Money in. Nicely done. And there goes the Flodge Uber again. The worst thing since um, Justin Bieber. That's pretty worse than. And Anzix Sentry once more clobbered again. Just goddamn, Anzix cannot catch a break today whatsoever. He must be going, team, defend, please. 
And that car is just wombling its way around the course. I mean, um, there's, there's very little... Did somebody run into the front of the train? And there we go. Okay, 10 minutes on the clock. It wasn't me. Who knew? It actually wasn't. Now, 9 minutes 38. Can Red Team get some kind of sentry built or some sort of defensive matrix? Tanked up versus Wirebash, and tanked up wins. Lovely stab from Benny Boy there. Good bit of revenge. Just gets between the fast though and the heel target. Basically, a nice net of guys centered around the area. Um, some snipers, engineers, um, that kind of thing. Basically, if you've got bugger all guys at the front line, it's like all around the cart. You've got nobody really kind of spaced out around you. You want to make sure the enemy stays away from your, uh, you know, area. It, I was trying to describe things, and this is a, this is not the easiest job to do. Now, aim is 38, and this is not looking, um... Nice what Dirty D's done cheap. He's ramming his way through everybody. Unlucky there, Hubert. Um, and Blue Team are trying to get on that last straight. I mean, there's eight minutes here. This is going to be a very, very, very difficult fight here for Red to win. They've lost so much already. Although Infinity, though, is trying to prop the team with his noble three doms compared to the onslaught of Blues. Although blue team have started using less snipers. Uh, oh dear, 10 out of 10 there. Um, Farso trying to find a heal target. But red team are keeping an eye on it. Now, ooh, what is that down there? Nice work from Overcharge. Takes out the uh, teleporter exit. The problem is that car is very, very dangerously close to the finish line there. But can Red Team keep going? Now, can Captain Fluffy get one more domination there and upset Tanked Up's Doms? Is it possible? No, it's not. He just lost one. Now the thing is that blue, what Red Team needs to do is keep everybody away from the car as hard as they can. Try and make it so the car rolls back a bit. There were 16 seconds. Nice work there from Anzix. And nice penetration from Mass there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that cart's on the move back. Okay, can, they keep, can Red Team keep it that way? By some distance. Nope. Dirty, dirty deal's done cheap, has managed to get in, and Blue Team has just pushed the entire thing, and there it goes. Okay, game two, round one, and the teams have been scrambled with the, a lot of the MJC guys stuck on one team together. Not sure if this is a good thing, um, but yeah, although, <laughs> oh my god, noob team. <laughs> Thing is, though, it's like we've seen this quite a few times where, like, you know, the MJC's been one team and then they've not won anyway. Uh, it can happen. Now, in any case, although well, Blue Team have still decided to try to stay true to the uh, mass sniper charge tactic. Uh, which is MJ? Uh, well, there, there, there are a lot of old, uh, pl older players, actually. I mean, I say older. Fast is probably the oldest of the lot. Maybe with Autark. Um, tanked up, Fat Captain Fluffy about the same time. Wirebash is also a more newer player. Five, four, three, two, one. Red Tail, who is the grandfather of the server other than me? And 
Trying to see if there's anybody else. Now I think, well, I think actually it is probably uh, faster is the grandfather of the server, possibly Minardi or Nesflin. Not sure. They're pretty old. And 124 is pretty old as well. But if we had something like Tom, Scar, um, Scoot is definitely the oldest grandfather of the server. Now, in any case, let's get back to the. Oh, hello! Wait, he's just been up for gun. For, up, <laughs> and there's and there's Peridot. Now that is a grandfather of the server. Now, in any case, let's see where this is all going and stuff like that. Was Farms there around before Peridot? I can't remember. Now, in any case, four minutes fifty-one, and the cart is on the move. Blue team is in there, and right now. Oh, oh dear! And tanks up's getting stuck on rocks. Unlucky there. Four minutes thirty-one, and looks like red team's getting on with this. There's tanked up. He's killifying everything in a five. Oh, wait, no! Blocks your pass, takes him down. In the end. See you later. Don't kill me. People are really dying around here. Oh, unlucky 10 out of 10 gets caught. Hey, Peridot. Who's older between you and Fasto in terms of uh, player membership base? Is faster older or are you, are you older? I have a feeling you're older. I think yeah, actually faster is the older one here. As I said though, it's like uh, yeah, it's gonna be like Tom Scar or Scoot, the only ones I can think of top of my head, or him maybe like Shaggy if he ever comes back. Detonator, I don't know. Um, Now, in any case, uh, 3 minutes 10, and the cart is actually going back. Blue team might have a chance, or red team might have a chance here, although we're seeing the pi the pirate ubers at the moment are seemingly the, the hot shit at the moment. Everybody's, uh, ba every medic's uh, going going behind a uh, pyro right now. Seems to be the done thing, it's what the cool kids are doing. Now, how does one stop a pyro uber? Maybe sentry force. That could do it. Oh, is Party Martin older than you, Fast, though? So that might be somebody else. Now, in any case, 2 minutes 16. Right now, red team might hold this. Uh, blue six sniper tactic going down the toilet here. Anzix, I'm going to be honest, you know who I'm seeing at the moment? Who I'm, I'm wishing the best for is Anzix. He tries so hard, the poor guy, to build sentries and make the best of them. But then his team just, I don't know, he, he seems to bear the brunt of an entire assault on his own little wee little shoulders. Now, Autop's internet at the moment is being powered by actual copper cables rather than pigeons. And Blue Team are trying to make a push for that cart. They're trying to get in there. 1 minute 33. They haven't got much time left. Copper, you mean water. You mean that basically Autop's entire internet is basically a string of messages in a bottle, hopefully getting to the right source. 1 minute 14, and... One, that is Blue Team. Blue Team needs a little bit to get on this, but can they do anything? Now, they're going with four snipers. I don't think they can win this. Again, they don't really have the medics. They've got three scouts, though. I mean, why do they have three scouts trying to push a cart here? This is heavy work, and everybody knows it. 
just watch. If next the next reg team all goes heavy, that cart will get pushed. Like it'd be nigh impossible to get near. If it was a, a different kind of cart, though, I think it'd be easier. This is not so good for heavies. Literally just sentries in retarded positions. That's not the worst thing, to be fair. Sentries in retarded positions are good, good old-fashioned pastime in this game. The thing is, predictive sentries they're predictable, and then you can easily like set up an Uber for them. But then, like when basically you go around the corner, why is there a sentry there? Like Snez Flint and Anzik are doing fantastic little sentries right now, and they're doing they're doing really well. I like a good cheeky sentry. Five seconds left. Overtime, boys. You better get in there. And there we go. Red team wins. Okay, game two, round two. And it seems as if the big complaint is the enemy were using sentries. Um, they are the defending team. That is kind of the done thing. You know, I mean, you can't really blame them for that second, second position. The previous few games have been very, very, you know... NANI?! Defenders using a defense class? I know, right? It's like... But seriously, though, like, heavies haven't had that much, so much love today. If you got like, five heavies on a cart all firing in a direction, Jesus Christ, snipers have a problem with that. That wasn't a dull style, mate. You got completely shut down. You tried to move on to the first point. No. But I would agree, though, defensive battle is un not as dramatic as others. But that's the that's the kind of problem. And a CP5 game, yeah, can be a bit dull. But, I mean, Autark. Oh, 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 Autark. Are you basically... This is the guy from Monday who... Playing a scout and then completely being an asshat, going behind enemy lines and back capping everything. Yes, it's fucking hilarious, but god damn it, sometimes you want a bit of stability in a game. Ooh, there's some uh, penetrations there. But the position makes no sense, but they win. That's because people aren't expecting them. Sometimes surprise is a factor. I know, but it was it was defensive. It was a back end sentry. Those happen. You can't really get mad. <laughs> it's like okay, well, for instance, it was the first two sentry, and you guys were pushing hard. It was a good strategic decision at the time, and you know, yeah, no, I think it was, I think it was not the worst thing. The other two, the other two engineers are holding the second. This is what I'm saying. You need three engineers per team. It's usually a good idea. Now, in any case, we're seeing you know red team here. Um, they've got an engineer, and they're defending the engineer. They're defending both engineers. It's nice to see good defensive teamwork. Oh, unlucky there. Uh, Benny Boy uh, lost his uh, Uber target, and got destroyed in the corner. No, but that's the point. The thing is, though, a defensive line has the has the occasional tendency to not be used. The Maginot line in the second war never fired a shot, and they went around the side. The point of the matter is, sometimes, that's, that's the risk with defensive areas. Sometimes they never get used because simply the enemy doesn't go there. Now, in any case, let's see where this is. This. 3 minutes 46, and the two sentries on red team are doing a fantastic job. We went from all snipers to, en to engineering nightmare. Now, perhaps maybe blue team should invest in some medical attention here. They only have one. That Aruka guy, and I'm liking it so far. You know, he's doing a bang up job, middle of the team, new guy. Mad respect, he basically came to a game with people he doesn't know and played, me played medic. Now, the thing is, though, maybe if Blue Team could trade in your trade in your spies now, get medic. I oh, know, there's a cl you know, class economy in this game. I mean, maybe the thing is, I'm seeing here is that the spies seemingly aren't getting the job done. Although saying that, and then suddenly something turns up. But wait, 
One man with a neon sign destroys everything. Except the... Uh... Nope, he misses the teleporter though. But he does a reasonably good job getting everything else. Nice charge there from Fruit Money and one sentry has gone down. Am I sensing here, Autark? You're mad because you can't, didn't get to do scout antics in the enemy's rear. Oh dear, he has gone. Now, 2 minutes 12 here, and Red Team's doing some lovely defending right now. They're sloth through. Now, can Blue Team push through here? I will scout. That's besides the point. I don't know, I killed you twice. You can't say it's completely useless. Relatively useless, perhaps, but not completely. <laughs> now, in any case, let's see what is going here. 1 minute 36, and Blue Team just cannot seem to get through right now. They are using more medics. Now, can they perhaps move in through here? What do you mean, ferret help? Uh, Captain Fluffy, I would invest in being a fat man and stand on the cart and hope to push as hard as you can. Advice, boys. No, I can't do that. I don't know, I don't know the commands for that, actually, even. Now, the cart's moving in, and it's not looking good here. Minute left on the clock, and Blue Team have barely touched their cart. Oh, Dio Dio went from the winning team to the losing team. That will happen in this server. Hello, Corinu. Can you please join a team if you are there? Not loading. Fruit Money managed to push the cart. Then gets healed. Lovely ramage there. Now, can... Okay, 27 seconds. Blue team can't win it from here, can they? Surely not. Oh, lordy, no way. 18 seconds left. They can't win this now. Craft tech. Oh, no, he gets clobbered. No freaking way. Eight seconds. No! No! Not really! And they take it with another five minutes on the clock. They just managed to do it. <laughs> Blue team have a new lease of life. Now, blue team, you need to get on and push that cart. You can't just go, yay, we've got a point. No, you've got five minutes, and that's a hard point to get through. Seriously, one of my best, best bits to butt hurt in this game is when a cart gets pushed over a line or a point gets capped in overtime, and the entire defending red team just gets mad as hell. Like, that's bullshit. That's bu your bullshit. Now, blue team. Get on your cart and stop leaving it alone. Get it pushed up that hill. I like fruit money. Now fruit money, would you like to would you like to push the cart better and still get be a demo knight? Maybe perhaps become a demo train instead. Be holding the pain train at the same time and you can charge in and clobber people and push the car at twice the speed. Now it looks like Demon's put his sentry in that place again. Now, Blue Team needs to get organized. They need to take it down and take it down long and hard and fast. Well, not long, hard and fast, but just take it down quickly. Because the problem is it's going to stay there for as long as it does and then it's going to completely destroy them. Like that. Well, that's actually infinity there. But this is where Blue Team needs to get medics in the right places and start killifying things. Saying that though, um, Bobbert's there. Jesus Christ, Bobbert just got bum rushed. Why are there two medics running face first into the enemy? What the fuck is this? Who's who? Who greenlit this idea? It was a terrible one.
It was a plan, but it was a bad plan. Oh, hello. Oh. Jesus. Fuck it. What? How is Overcharger surviving? The fuck is this? Like, why is there a medic that far into red territory? What the fuck is going on? You got raped. That's because you're near the enemy spawn. What were you doing there? Now, again, people are ignoring Demon and thinking we can just ignore that and maybe not have to do anything. Now, Brute Man's got a sensible idea. There are medics on blue team, but nobody seemingly is getting a soldier, a demo man, or a heavy up that slope and just firing at sentry. They need a plan here, blue team. They've got, they've got to stop pushing around and actually just do the big boy thing of push up the hill with an Uber. Brute Man is keeping trying to keep that cart alive, but he can't do it. Not for, for all of time. I need a thing called help. Kids help. Now I'm on at 49. Fruit money though is just basically dying all over the cart. It's just, where, where is team? Right, let's have a look at where the medics are. Okay, there's one, two there. There's another in spawn doing nothing. This may be the problem. Blue team is the third medic. Um... Okay, there we go. Come on, there we go. Okay, right, they got the third medic up and running. Now, they got medics. They just need to get through the front line. Now, okay, there goes an Uber there. That's a problem. Right now, I just see Blue Team are unable to organize right at the moment. They just cannot seem to get a front line formed. They have four medics. It's just, I don't know. 56 seconds. No way blue team can do a double bullshit cap in this game. No way. Wirebash gives it a good go, but Demon Sentry just has the high ground. <coughs> it's too late, Demo Man. I have the high ground. Thing is, you know, Anakin would have won that if he had a medic who Ubered him at the last possible moment. <laughs> okay. Overcharger, tone it down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sentry down! You have 12 seconds to push to the cart. Do it now! Wabash is getting in there. No freaking way. Can they do this? There's an Uber on the cart, but they need to push it. They need to push the cart. Oh, God, why? Oh, no, 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 no. No freaking way. Can they do this all in overtime? Vali, you're the last best hope for blue team. Get on the cart, blue team. Do it now. <laughs> Fucking push. You've got to be on the car at all times. No excuses. All the time. Every time. Keep going. Get on the car. Jesus Christ. Snezlin, no. No. That was so close. That was one of the most tensest pushes I have seen in a long time. God damn. I thought Blue Team nearly had that. Okay, game two, round three, and goddamn. You know how I said, destroy the sentry, and maybe you can do something, and then that happened in the last 12 seconds available. Maybe some better accounting is required from the attacking team. See you later, Broxy Path. Oh, I'll see you later, Minardi. 
But yeah, blue teams, blue teams, you got to stop leaving everything last minute. I, I'm not kidding, yeah, it's the thing. Go heavy, shoot the fuck out of everything. You know, it, it usually really, really helps. No, 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 Cosy. No, 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 no. He's not new. He's done it before. <laughs> no. <laughs> Captain Fluffy will fucking kill me. We the we're the ones playing the ferret campaign more than more than this than on us. It is painful to watch sometimes. You see like here's the obvious solution of blow up the fucking sentry and it's just I'm not seeing Ubers. I'm not seeing people get near it and it's like God damn it You had one job. You know how annoying it is it is to see Fasto fail to become a ball in blood bowl every goddamn time. It's like that. Now, Dirty D's done cheap, though. Now, that's some cart pushing. I like. Until it is uh, destroyed by Captain Fluffy. There goes Cozzy. Nice bit of work there. Trying to get some pushes in. And there's Anzix once again. And yes, Anzix has a sentry. Nobody takes care of him. Demon is being ballsy as hell, shooting up people with a Widowmaker. And he also fails to completely see the teleporter. God damn it. For fuck's sakes, you guys. You guys are terrible. Ooh, there's a teleporter there. Better shoot that fuck standing behind you the entire time. I would love it if I like, activate and somebody just came out and just stabbed you. It's like, get yeah, this teleporter right there. Now, no, 4 minutes 20. <laughs> And Nismo. Oh, that's a lovely centro Nismo there. Is that going to work? Is this going to be in the collection of Autark's shittiest sentries video? Oh, Nismo sentry staying up. Oh, Demon, try. Oh, Demon just gets the kills on that. Nice effort there from Nismo. A little bit closer to the enemy lines, though. Who is this guy? Autark there. Will he find Minardi Sentry? Minardi Sentry is useless, he said, when all it does is simply just block him off, block him off completely. I'm sorry, it wasn't that useless. Now, anyway, 3 minutes 11. Cart is nearly over the point right now. And the cart's on the rollback. Overcharger just jumps into combat there. Don't jump off the side, you won't survive the jump. Ooh, he does. Actually, nicely done. No, okay, infinity in there. Now the cart is rolling back. 2 minutes 47. Nismo gets his mini revenge on Autark there. I suggest you build a sentry back there, Nismo, to make sure Autark doesn't do it again. And there goes an Uber from Infinity. Infinite Uber. Nice work from, uh, what was that? Wire Bash there. Just clobbers Infinity. No, that sentry spot can stop an entire enemy team, as we saw last game. It's not that useless if it actually becomes activated. Unlucky there for Autark. He's getting clobbered against a wall. He can't seem to break away. Seemingly he can't, but I think he can. There's no RTV in here. There are no continues, my friend. One minute forty-one, and from the looks of it, blue team needs to get on that cart. It's only a short distance, and that cart is rolling back. Use cart as cover, and there we go. Dirty done, dirty done cheap. 
There's, I think we should be paying him in ref at some point. And lovely good work from Anzik's sentry there and a combination of other things. Now, can Demon get onto that car? Nope, he got completely raped. There, no bricks were on him for that. I mean, the car only needs a little bit. Actually, red team, you can stand on the car all the time. If you found, if you, if they get on that car for even a second, they will cap that point. And there comes Pinky Mitsureta. And there they go. That's all they needed. I was forced to leave by death. That's the only permissible circumstance. He cheats. <laughs> death eviction. Now, six minutes on the clock here. Uh, red team got uh, blue team haven't got too much time. They do need to get on with that cart though. Stop faffing around with it and start doing stuff. Now there is one refugee left. And it was Wirebash, but unfortunately Benny Boy I, th I think Pinky managed to get to him first. Oh, Paradox in there with, oh, the bludgeon, oh, lordy. Paradox gets in there with a bit of Captain Fluffy action and then everything fucking died. And the cart's getting moved up there. <laughs> nice work from Autark there. And nice work from Benny Boy. Kills of Autark. That has slowed down the guys, the amount of guys to the front, but not taking down the sentries on the other hand. Now, here again is that classic example of where Blue Team needs to get Ubers in there. Kosi, on the other hand, found a very interesting place to attack from. Maybe it could work. Oh, there goes an Uber. And they, they Ubered a... Why would you Uber Pyro? He can't close the gap. That was a terrible place. No, that was... Oh, lordy. That was awful. Oops. Now, to be fair, though, the sentries on Red Team are going down. So they are making progress here, Blue Team. Now, however, there is the one sentry in question. Now, it does seem to be the one... Now, Dirty Deeds Done Cheap, though, is seemingly on the job. I'm liking Dirty Deeds Done Cheap. I think, basically, he's living up to his name. You know what needs to happen? Destroying that sentry. Yeah, better get rid of it. You know what needs to happen? Pushing the cart. Better do that job. I'm liking this guy's attitude to this game. Reminds me of Kano and confused Swedish person. Oh man, I miss Confused Swedish Person. He used to do all stuff like that all the time. And Blue Team was on a rampage for them. Oh, it looks like the sentry's going down. Nice work there from Demon. And it's going down. Maybe Blue Team are getting in and around here with three minutes on the clock. Although saying that, nice work from Bob. Okay, thank you, Bobba. Treading on top of a sentry and then not noticing it would be a crime punishable by God damn it. Oh, Varley's on five. If he gets the six, uh, that neutralizes tanked up doms. Will it happen though? Answer the postcard, please. I'm going sniper. I'm getting seven. <laughs> you motherfucker. Now nice I've Captain Fluffy there. I don't know where Fruit Money was going to go with that. It looked like he was trying to burn something, but then, like an overexcited Labrador, didn't know which direction to pick. And Varley is on five. No! No! He went for the draw. 
but he didn't survive the countdown. No, 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 no. You had to wait five seconds. And you was nowhere inside five seconds. That does not count. Tanked up still has the crown. Now the blue team's on the push. Can they make it go there? Five, four, three, two, one, and Varley's on six. Okay, nobody's managed to get uh, double. Nobody's managed to do it yet. Uh, one minute twenty-six. Is this game gonna go? Oh dear! And I think somebody got killed by the car. And there we go. Now, okay, Blues have got a new lease of life. Can they keep this going? Now remember that cart moves pretty fast. You may end up walking backwards into it if you're not careful. Five, four, three, two, one, and Vardy's on seven. He takes the crown. There we go. Okay. Bob in there with the crit pan, and looks like Blue Team's pushing quite nicely. Demons on the cart. As medic, I don't know why a medic's doing so much work here, but he really is. There goes Autark. Blocked by Peridot and kind of stuck a little bit. Unlucky Autark gets hit by a sentry. That might be a difficult one to hurdle or to mount. Literally, you can't just keep running through. I mean, as much as I love using like fucking bonk, man, it's freaking amazing. But goddamn, sometimes you can't use it. What's up, Wybash? Oh. Um. Uh. Okay. Right. Give me a sec. Okay, back. Sorry about that. It took a while to get that, get that but done. And it's like in that time, Blue moved up, so we have a nine minutes left, so I didn't really miss too much. But yeah, the thing is, I don't mind pe you know, people being a bit noisy in a server and that, but when he's like, all you do is come on a server and play music, and be that guy. He's like, fuck off. Well, basically, they use the mic a lot. They're a bit vocal. But that, that that's what is bullshit. Now, can red, red Team perhaps claw it back? I do not know. Mass there, nicely done. Uh, both. Uh, we're, this is the last round. Nice penetration from Autark there. Get a revenge on Barley. Don't worry, Vardy, we're still counting the seven. It's like measuring somebody's dick. I mean, the thing is, you basically can't see how hard and big they can get, and then you measure it from there. I mean, you basically don't go as a variable measure, you know. It's like, yeah, he, he's about two inches. Yeah, but that, I'm, 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 I'm floppy right now. You know, you can't just basically say it like that way. He's on. I know he's on seven. He's been. He's counted for seven. Don't worry. He's good. Now, in any case, seven minutes thirty-seven. Red team are holding on for dear death. Maybe you're a good player, Captain Fluffy. Maybe that's the simple answer. I sense intense blushing from Captain Fluffy. Let me put it this way. A lot of people are actually really good at TF2. Um, the thing is, is that, you know, if you're better... Uh, compared to the rest of the people who play TF2, I mean, have you guys played Valve tier? Oh. It's, uh, it's, 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 goddamn. 
Valve tier is horribly bad to play against. It really is. The stupid shit you'll see on a Valve tier because they really don't know how... To, like, setting sentries too far away because they don't know that the radius. Uh, people trying to use rocket jumpers to kill people and not realizing it doesn't do anything because they didn't read the text. Don't worry about your path, I'm main spectator. Now, 6 minutes 17 and we're seeing the engineers build up quite nicely. 6 minutes 10. Now, am I sensing that uh, Autark is using the window hack? Or perhaps Varley is using the window hack? You know what, of all the things in TF2, they need to fix that window. You know how in Steel, where you can you can burn people from behind the doors of A if you go around through B and around the side? Especially with a back burner, that shit's hilarious. And they still haven't fixed that yet. Kills just by thinking of a player. I speak Dark Demon's name when he usually dies. Who should I pick to die? Um, Slothu! You are next to die. Immediately hides in the spawn. Nah, it doesn't always work. Unlucky there, 10 out of 10. But the sentry that kind of really didn't work. Red team actually doing a really good job here. I mean, barely anything get close. Blue team have three snipers again, four snipers even, and only one medic. This is where things are going to go wrong. Blue team, you need at least two more two more medics to win this. You, you can't rely on Rom to do everything. Two more s medics. And also make sure they're full fat medics. Not those, yeah, you know, quick fix is a valid, you know, medigun. No, it's not. It don't do it versus sentries or snipers or backstabs. I, 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 I like quick fix. It's shit. But it's my favorite medigun. It's shit. Now I'm sort of in craft tech, so I'm unable to kill anything around him seemingly. Opinions on my internet. Blue team is seen killing everything off, but they're not pushing on the cart right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and Varley's on eight. There goes so oh, Slothu Sentry, and but then there goes a uh, Dirty Deezy trying to push it here. Has Red Team invested in more medics yet? Yes and no. They're still keeping the same amount of snipers and hoping for the best. It's like when, you know, basically she slept with somebody else and still wants to keep the marriage going, but you know this thing's been dying for a long time. You're putting your brave face on things, even though everything's clearly fucked and nobody's going to change. Now, okay, it's 2 minutes 47. And the cart is moving back. Dirty Deeds gets in there, but immediately killed by Slothu Sentry. Right now, it does seem as if the Sentries are winning this game. Like, Blue Team are destroying Sentries, but Red Team keeps rebuilding them. Captain Fluffy, did you nearly fall off the edge of the world? Five, four, three. Two, one. Varley's on nine. He's doing very well today. Two minutes on the clock. Jesus, my GPU. Last time my GPU had a stroke, I had to change the entire PC. 
The record is sent like 12 round here or 11. You know who I've seen in a long time? Where did Bram Mulvick go? Man, he was a good sniper back in there and a pretty good, decent uh, spy as well. I miss people. Now, one at 33 here. And yeah, it's looking as if red team's got this. Or is blue team going to pull out another last minute? We're going to basically put all our effort into actually playing the game properly moment. There goes fruit money. Fifty-five seconds left. Now blue team's got to do something now, and I don't think they can because red just team just seems to be everywhere right now. And there's all hurried up there. Nice work. Kills off a few people. Although that that just chopped there. That's nice revenge right there. It's it's a sword. You know they have good range. This comes from the guy playing the flood and calling that bullshit. I was on the other side of the room. You was not that far away. <laughs> it wasn't my screen. Ten seconds uh, left, and I. D oh, where that? Where the Uber? Why bash decided? To Ooh, wait, there we go. I think, yeah, this game is over. Five seconds left on the overtime. And... Now. There we go. Whoa, one, two, five. Nice work, Barley. Anyway, guys, all the time we have for today. But thank you very much for turning up today. I hope you guys had fun. Um, does anybody here want to know what the hell this is or what is, what, what's going on here? Um, nobody knew saying anything. I think we're okay. So, uh, <laughs> I'm 12 years old and what is this? No, nobody knew asking, so no more plug. Uh, no, you're not new either. No. <laughs> I have amnesia. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no one of you guys is asking, therefore I'm not doing the plug again. Well, God bless Cozzy for indulging me. <laughs> new guy! <laughs> God damn, blocks your path. I want to give you a gold star for vocabulary. But in any case, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys, for turning up today. I'll be back for Wednesday. Next week in tightrope. But I've got to give blood on Monday. So I'll take me a bit longer for, you know, to get back in. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you lot later. Bye.